Hello everyone and welcome back to Mariana Math Books. My name is Mariana and today we are doing day two of my tag math videos. And for this one I am going to be doing the My Favorite Things tag which was originally created by Tori at Hufflepuff Discovery and I was tagged to do it by David Wiley. Both channels I very much recommend. So let's go on with the questions. Number one is, who is your favorite musician or band? And we, we are starting off on the wrong foot because I'm not the biggest music person. I am a book and movies and TV shows person. So you know how there are a lot of people who say like, oh, um, I want to go to X concert before I die. Uh, I'm not one of those people. I don't have like a specific concert in mind that I would like to go before I die. That being said, talking about movies and soundtracks, my favorite concert that I have ever gone to was a live concert of the Fellowship of the Ring <laughs> where they screened the movie while at the same time the orchestra played the score and it was one of the best things in ever in the life. I would love to see the other two films in concert as well but you know um but as for music currently i'm listening to a ton of christmas music uh, <laughs> and i don't know i guess if we went to my spotify um my most listened artists at the moment would be flurry and tommy profit um but yes yeah, i said i'm not a big music person question number two what are your top three favorite films? I love movies and I get as intense with movies as I do with books, <laughs> with the books I love. So it's hard for me to just pick favorite movies. What I'm going to do is in order to avoid mentioning the three who shall not be named because you already know which ones they are, in order to avoid mentioning those, I am going to mention my top three all-time favorite comfort movies. Uh, so um, I have tons of other comfort movies that are more recent, but these are my top three that whenever I want a movie that I know is a, a feel good movie that I have seen a thousand times that I know by heart but that I still love. Firstly, I want to mention Center Stage, then uh, and finally The Matrix, the original, the first one. And yes, I know it's weird but yes, that is one of my comfort movies. <laughs> Question number three. What is your favorite scent? I don't wear um, perfume, I don't use a lot of scented candles or scented uh, lotions, that type of thing. But I'm going to go with food, food related scents. And my three favorite would be freshly baked bread, uh, freshly made coffee and freshly made popcorn. I love the smell of popcorn. I would never wear it on a perfume but I love the smell uh, if you go into a cinema and you smell the popcorn smell that one and question number four what is your favorite Disney film from the cartoon uh, classic let's say films um, it, it would be Pocahontas that one was my favorite when I was little then when I was little but not as little <laughs> my favorite was Mulan I loved Mulan. I think it's like the movie for my my generation. Um, I saw Jennifer Brooks do this video and she mentioned the song I'll Make a Man, Man Out of You. And I mean, ugh, of course, it's like classic speaking about music and songs and stuff. That song is a classic. And then from the more recent Pixar era movies, I would say Monsters Inc. That one, I mean, I love them all, but Monsters Inc. is the one that I can rewatch the most. 
and it brings fond memories because my younger sister when she was little uh, she loved Monster Inc and she would always ask us to uh, put it on the TV and she called it the movie uh, I'm going to speak in Spanish for a brief while because <laughs> it's, there's no translation to that but she called it uh, La del Papeleo so when we asked her what movie do you want to see she would say La del Papeleo because um, the, the receptionist, the really mean receptionist that is always mean to Mike Wazowski, in Spanish she always said, no hiciste tu papeleo anoche. And so she loved that one and she called it the papeleo. Wazowski, no ordenaste tu papeleo anoche. But yeah, those three. Question number five is, what is your favorite season? And I think it would be late fall early winter mm, november the last days of november and the first days of december mm, before christmas leading up to christmas that's my favorite season so not not really because of the season in terms of nature but more the season in terms of what's going on and question number six what is your favorite seasonal drink um i don't really have a favorite seasonal drink as such i don't know that we have as many seasonal drinks we have seasonal foods but i don't know about drinks I am going to say hot chocolate, mm, not necessarily because of the cold <laughs> weather and not because it's a seasonal drink. I mean, you can drink hot chocolate whenever you want. But during the autumn, during the, the season of the Day of the Dead, there is this bread called hojaldra or pan de muerto. And it is uh, traditional only of the season and it is delicious. And whenever you start, okay, so my favorite season could be answered with that. Whenever you start seeing pan de muerto in the bakeries, that is the start of my favorite season. And the best way to eat a pan de muerto is with a cup of hot chocolate. And then after December, in the first days of January, during the um, celebration of the three wise men that we do here in, in Mexico, we have this, um, this, this pastry thing called Rosca de Reyes. And so we do a lot of reunions to, do, to um, eat the Rosca de Reyes. There is a whole tradition that goes along with it. But a good way to eat, um, to accompany it is with hot chocolate. So I'm going to say hot chocolate. Seven, do you have a favorite shirt or article of clothing? I am wearing it right now. I love turtlenecks. I have always loved turtlenecks. And I'm one of those people that whenever you find uh, some a piece of clothing that you like I buy the same one in different colors <laughs> so I have this shirt in uh, green in blue in pink in white and in, in several colors and that's my favorite mm, that would be in terms of wearing the most but in terms of liking them because of the 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 design I guess um, and because I, I geek out whenever I wear them I I love my Sassenach sweatshirt which I'm wearing right now I love my Visit Mordor t-shirt and I love my um, Highlander Romance t-shirt and last winter I had a sweatshirt made that says Sagittario Pero Leo and it is a play on words using the signs um, but also it's a bookish it's a bookish play on words so if you can speak spanish you will get the joke if not there is no point in explaining because it's a play on words it can't be translated uh, but yeah that one i i made for myself last winter and i love it then question number eight who is your favorite author for me, it's funny because um, a lot of people that I see answer this question say that their favorite authors have to be authors that they have read multiple books from. And for me, it's more about the author as a person. Um, not that I have to like them as a person or agree with them or 
more in the sense that they intrigue me as a person or they interest me as a person so some another who i read i can maybe only have read one book by them but if i then want to read a biography of them then that is the type of author that becomes my favorite author because the 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 author themselves not just the work become my favorite so Tolkien of course is one of them I uh, read his biography this year after reading The Lord of the Rings and there's no way you can read Tolkien's biography without him becoming your favorite author another one would be Anne Bronte and this is a good example because Anne Bronte doesn't have many books published. She, uh, in terms of novels, she only has *The Tenant of Wildwell Hall* and um, *Agnes Grey*. And after I read *The Tenant of Wildwell Hall*, I fell in love with her. And then I read *Agnes Grey*, and I didn't like it. I gave it three stars. But I still consider Anne Bronte one of my favorite authors, and I really want to read a biography. <laughs> And another one, a uh, more new one, would be Dubravka Ogresi. And here, for example, the measure is not the biography, but more, <laughs> more that I read a, a collection of essays by her this year. And even though that collection was not a five star for me, there's something about her writing that it, it took me by surprise. I slowly, as I read the collection, I could feel myself becoming more and more in love with her and obsessed with her and I order another book by her. I have two more books by her in my bookshelves and I want to read all of her essay collections and even if I won't call her my favorite author yet, I think she very well may become one of my favorite authors just because I am kind of obsessed with her after reading that first book, even if, as I said, it wasn't a five-star read. I don't know, there's something to her that just makes me love her. Question number nine. Do you have a favorite spot for reading or writing? Well, in terms, in terms of an ideal spot, I would say the beach. I love reading in the beach but I don't live near a beach and I don't go often um, when I do whenever I go on vacation on the beach I love taking books and that would be my favorite place in terms of day to day I would say uh, I don't know my favorite place to read would be my sister's bedroom her bed has a pretty good light that would be my, my favorite place to read. I don't have like a special cozy nook or anything. I'd love to, but um, there isn't space in my house. Question number 10. What is your favorite food or dessert? Bread. I can eat bread in any form. I can eat savory bread. I can eat sweet bread, uh, any form of pastry. Uh, bread and I are best friends i love bread i love bread yeah yes okay and then so in the same vein my favorite dessert would be cake i love cake i it's funny because in my family no one likes cake that much they prefer other types of desserts but i love cake question 11 what is your favorite time of day my favorite time of day ha um, was always at night and um, whenever it's dark and everyone is asleep and you are alone reading in your room so um, between like 11 p.m to 1 a.m that would normally be my favorite time of day however um ever since i got diagnosed i need to sleep more and I uh, I can't stay up late because if I do, then the next day I will be dying. So I can't enjoy my favorite time of day anymore. So instead of that one, I guess um, between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., that's a good time. And especially in the winter when the uh, time change the, the time changes and it's dark outside at that time 
that would be my favorite question number 12 do you have a favorite color my favorite color has always been purple um either really dark purple or like grayish toned purple uh, but also i really love dark green dark foresty type green like the shirt i'm wearing that i also love uh, question number 13 who is your top three favorite youtube channels i have been seeing people answer this question with channels other than booktube um so as not to play favorites <laughs> But um, to be honest, I, I think booktube is most of what I watch and at these moments in my life, at least. And whenever I'm not watching booktube, I'm either looking for specific interviews of actors I like um, or, or, or reactions. <laughs> but I don't have favorite channels for those. I just look for specific things so i am going to answer with booktube channels but in order to not play favorites <laughs> i'm going to mention three of the first channels that i started following and who have directly influenced or impacted my reading in some way there are many channels I love there are many booktubers I love watching and I love them for different reasons I love them whether it's because I love I I have similar tastes with them and so I like to see what books they recommend or I like their personalities and so I like watching their videos or I like the way they film and edit their videos there, there are many different types but for this question I'm going to mention as I said three of the first like some of the booktubers that i have followed for the longest that have in some way impacted my reading whether it's by recommendations or by something else something about their content has directly impacted my reading and those three channels would be uh, mara at books like whoa Olive at a book Olive and Jennifer at Jennifer Brooks. I'm going to mention those three. Question number 14. What is your favorite musical or play? My favorite musical is Le Mis. Um, as basic as that answer is. And then question number 15. What is your favorite place you've visited? So I guess from the places I've traveled, my favorite city would be New York City. I have been there three or four times and I love it every time and my favorite place within New York City would be the Strand Bookstore. I, I, it's so beautiful. And finally, 16, who do you tag? As I said in my previous video, I'm not going to tag anyone for these tag mask videos. So if you're watching, consider yourself tagged. And I forgot to make an outro for my previous video. I'm not going to forget for this one. So I hope you had a Merry Christmas Eve. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas Day. And I will see you tomorrow with another Thai video. In the meantime, happy reading.